Okay, we're going to talk about topping. Um, so lots of people are um, suffering from hitting their golf shots, come in and hit a ball, certainly with irons from the floor, and they tend to find the ball runs along the floor. So they've hit the top of the ball with the bottom of the club, and the ball's running along the floor. So it's a top shot, a bad quality strike. Now, lots of people I'm seeing have got very much the wrong idea about why they're topping the ball. They don't really understand what's happening to the club down when it comes in to hit the ball. The thing I want you to focus on today, two things you're going to think about. One, when you hit an iron shot from the ground, first thing you should be thinking about is hitting the ball on the way down. The club should be hitting the ball on the descent. Lots of people think when they hit an iron shot from the ground that they should be picking it off the top of the grass, hitting it on the way up to get it up in the air. It's not the case. You should be hitting on the way down. Second, you should be hitting the ground. When good iron players, like you see them on telly, they take a divot out of the ground. So one, they're hitting the ball on the way down. And two, if you're hitting the ball on the way down, there's a good chance you're going to hit the ground. Now when you hit the ground, you want to be hitting it in front of the ball. So under and in front of the ball. You should never be hitting the ground before the ball. If you find you are hitting the ground before the ball, that means your club is getting to the bottom of its swing too early, and then you're catching the ball on the way up. Very common cause of topping. So what I've got with me today, I've got two irons, both with a bit of tape on the bottom. See the tape there is clean on the bottom. I'm going to hit a couple of shots with both of these irons uh, from this strike board here on the ground, just to show you how the clubs are reacting with the ground in relationship, relationship to hitting down at the ball or hitting up at it. So let me just show you what I mean. First one I'm going to try one here. This one I'm going to try and hit down at the ball, take my divot, hit the ground in front of the ball. So you're going to hear a bit of a crack when I hit this one because it's being hit from the, the strike board which is a bit of plastic basically. So let me just try one first. Okay, as you can see here I hit the ground there. And it was after I made contact with the ball. Now I don't know if you can see that, but basically the strike on the bottom of that club, the mark, is all at the front, the scrape is all at the front of the tape, nothing really at the back. So what's happened there is I've come down and hit the ball and the club has come down, in front of the club's caught the ball, I've dug slightly and then got out of the mat and forward. So I've hit that ball very much on the descent on the way down. So I'm now going to try one with the second club, again with the clean piece of tape. This time I'm going to actually hit up at this one, so I'm going to hit the ground first and catch the ball on the upswing, which is a common cause of topping. Okay, so I actually got away with the shot, still gone underneath the ball slightly. Now I don't know if you can see that, I hope you can pick that up on the camera. Now basically all the scrapes are here, at the back of the club. Now the reason the scrapes are at the back of the club is when I came down and hit the ball, the club head was flicking forwards because I wasn't getting my weight through and I hit up at the ball with the back of the club hitting the ground bouncing then hitting up the ball. Now that is the main cause of topping. People hitting irons from the ground and trying to catch the ball on the way up. So leaning on their back foot and trying to hit the ball up in the air. Iron shots from the ground, you've got to learn to trust the loft. You want to be hitting down at the ball, you want to be getting into the grass, really feel that you're taking a divot. And what you've got to work on doing is taking the divot in front of the ball. Now a good way of practicing this is get three balls, line them up in a nice straight line, hit the middle one, so keep the two outside ones where they are. But when you hit the ball you've got to be trying to move the mat, all the grass, wherever you're practicing, in front of the ball. Don't touch that ground behind the ball. So you've got to be hitting the ground target side of those three balls um, to be making sure that you're then hitting the ball on the descent. I very rarely see people topping because they're hitting down on top of the ball. 90% of the time it's because they're hitting up at it. So I'm going to hit one here and I'm going to hit the shot and I'm going to try and move the ground in front of that ball. So it's a nice strike, you can hear hopefully that I hit the ball and the ground. There was um, bits of dust and what have you flew up from the mat when I hit the mat and it was all in front of the ball. So easiest way of moving that ground in front of the ball. One, you've got to be moving your weight forward as you come into the hit shot, turning it onto your left leg. Make sure you're leading with your body. 
Two, and this sounds silly, but it's got to be as basic as you're trying to hit the ground in front of the ball. Consciously try and move a bit of grass or a leaf or something in front of the ball, hit into the mat in front of the ball. If you do that, you're going to start to learn to hit the ball on the descent. If you hit the ball on the descent, you're going to get underneath it more, it'll shoot up in the air, and you'll find you very rarely top the ball. 